want to go through a principle here that I kind of stumbled on that was, um, it was a big deal. This, this really, really uh, changed how I approached this game. Um, your dream customer should be someone that you want to serve and only, they need to be somebody who only requires a small amount of education to do two things, buy and have success. Now, do you see how that kind of lens doesn't mean I'm selling the quick funnels market? What I'm doing is I'm identifying people and groups of people who already have a level of success or a level of education. I shouldn't be the one that sells them into the funnel world. I'm not. We'll talk about that soon. Okay, um, I kind of uh, think of it as like, you know, golf, like putt-putt. Um, uh, I, I want the amount of education I need to give them in order to buy to be like this little tiny tap. That's all that should be required. Okay, and we're, we're going to talk about this more in a moment going forward. But customer education is what I'm talking about here. Customer education is one of the greatest keys to you serving who you want to serve. Right? If I'm selling, uh, I don't know, alarm systems. If I'm selling alarm systems, I want to sell somebody who has already bought an alarm system. Easiest sale ever. But the entrepreneur often sits back and says, but they already bought an alarm system. Man, I'm on my third ads agency right now. Right? And they keep going up in the price they charge. It, it was the easiest lay down sale ever for her. She just said, hey, here's the two or three things I know I see you're not getting served with. And I was like, oh no, what? <laughs> right? And I go, and here's more money. And, right? and that's just, that's how it works. Hey, don't, does that help? Because when you turn around and you say, I need to sell somebody who's never bought something in this space ever, you are setting yourself up for that type of that conversation. If they've never bought anything ever, their first purchase should not be with you. That is not a dream customer. A dream customer is somebody who's already bought and needs the smallest amount of education in order to make a decision. Easiest success rates for you. It's what it does, it stacks all the cards in your favor so that it's really hard for you to fail at that point. Who do I target? Who do I target? Who do you guys think? Click funnels. Why would I target the click funnels user base? They already bought! And you're already sold on the concept of a funnel. I don't have to do that education. That market is creating my dream customer for me and I'm just collecting them. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in market positioning. That's an actual thing here, but that, that's why. That's why it's such a big deal. If you can get this down, which is not hard to do. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in a moment. Okay, but some of you guys are trying to set these world records on how much education it takes <laughs> to sell somebody, which by the way, for putting is 900, uh, 395 feet <laughs> with a putter. It was with the trick shot channel. Okay, but uh, don't set a record. Stop setting records on how much education it takes to convert a customer. So what I do is I just keep tossing in my, uh, my message and I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing, I'm not trying to sell click funnels market, I'm trying to sell like the 4%. You know what I'm saying? And we'll talk about that again uh, a little bit more moving forward. Um, this is actually one of my favorite Shark Tank episodes. I, I really do like the show Shark Tank quite a bit because um, it's cool to see everyone's ideas and stuff. There was this, there was this episode where they, they loved this guy. This guy comes in, I can't remember what the product was. Amazing product incredible uh, history. The guy was awesome. He didn't have a lot of sales, but the product was so prolific. I mean, it was, it was incredible what the guy had created. All the sharks are sitting in their seats going nuts. Oh my gosh, we have to have this, this is crazy. And then you see one by one, all of them kind of like sit back. The guy ended up not getting funded. They loved him. They loved his product. But there was one line that should capstone this, this principle. What's the guy's name on the right there? Super far, I can't remember his name. Yeah, Robert. Okay, yeah. Robert, thank you. Robert on the very far right there, he said, the only reason I'm not going to do it is because it would take millions of dollars to educate the market enough to want to buy that. Big statement. He understands that. Okay. When we, when we talk about marketing, we're looking to see how far they've progressed with their current solution. And if they've already bought something that's somewhat similar to what I'm selling, which I'll teach you how to differentiate, and they get to the certain place, 
all I'm going to go do is I'm going to swoop in right there. Thank you, previous person, for educating them to a certain spot. And when they really hate your solution, here we go. Boom. Right. Really easy sales. Yeah. yeah. Nugget. That was a freaking gold mine. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Instead of constantly changing your offer, because that's one of the things that people do. Well, man, my funnel didn't work. So they go, they change the funnel. They change the offer. They change the sales message. Instead of, instead of changing all that stuff, it is way easier to find and design your dream customer who's already close to purchasing. Stop changing the offer and the funnel so much. My secret MLM hacks offer I haven't touched it since uh, April of 2018, <laughs> okay? Because of this exact principle. I found a customer who had been educated far enough, right? And then ClickFunnels World comes and educates them about this funnel thing, and at that crosshair, I was like, oh, baby. That's why I went into the MLM space afterwards, after I left, okay? It had to do with the amount of customer education I would not have to do.